And welcome back to another one of Everything Wednesdays. I am your host, Mr. Beavers. That's right, we're opening up all of these packs over the next number of weeks. It's probably going to be at least another eight weeks, maybe, maybe, maybe nine. I'm not sure. And it's coming from Moe's Magic. That's right. Moe's Magic is a little shop I found in Erin, Ontario. Uh, there should be a link below in the description to their store page, uh, as well as their Facebook page. Um, and yeah, like, whew. Uh, for those of you who didn't tune in last week, we talked about this. Um, there's a lot of packs. I mean, he goes all the way back to the dark, which I'm super excited about this because I've never opened a pack of the dark in my entire career of magic. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I've also never opened any packs from, uh, you know, the Urza's block really, except for that one pack of Urza's Saga that you saw me open on the channel. So, I mean, we've got another pack of Urza's Saga, but we've also got Urza's Legacy and Urza's Destiny, which I've never opened before myself. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, there's some spicy stuff in here, um, and he has a lot of product uh, from old sets and things like that. Um, so definitely go check it out if you haven't. Uh, Mo is a great guy. Uh, I got a, I chatted with him for probably close to like two to three hours while I was there. I would imagine somewhere somewhere in there. He was running the Modern Horizons pre-release event while I was there. So you know he had to step away a few times here and there to uh, deal with the tournament and stuff. But other than that, no, uh, we got to talk a lot, and uh, he's a really great guy, really nice. Um, He's actually posted about me doing this series on his Facebook page a couple times already, which is, um, you know, uh, a big deal to me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mo, if you're watching the video. I really appreciate you doing that. Um, a lot of the stores that I do this for don't even, they don't even reach out to me after I've posted it or like if I post it and send them the link, they don't even like give me a thank you or like send me an email saying thanks for doing this or like, you know, it'd be it's interesting to see it and they don't share it with their communities, at least not that I've seen anyway so far. So I really appreciate you doing that. That's been great for me. Um, and it just, you know, it go, it just adds a little bit extra to what Mo offers. So for all of you out there who are in and around the area, it's definitely worth the trip to go check out Mo's. And uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Go check him out. Um, we're going to open up 11 packs this week, I think, because there is like a weird number, like it's over a hundred packs here. So if we do 10 every week, we'll have a, we'll have a week at the end. That's like four packs or six packs or something like that. So instead of that, I'm just going to do 11 a couple weeks so that we get 10 weeks out of it. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, cause I'd rather not have a week at the end. That's just like the last six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because you'll see, you see what we're opening in the last six, right? Like, I'd rather not have a week where we're just opening up those last th those last six, personally. But, uh, hey, maybe you guys think that I should do it that way. But if I do 11 this week, at least I end with Shadows over Innistrad. So, like, I do the Eldritch Moon, and then I also do the Shadows, which is from the same block. So I think that that's fair for this week. Maybe we'll just go stick to 10 for the remaining weeks. But anyway, you'll also see that in the bottom left and the bottom right, which I've just now motioned separately bottom left and bottom right um i have a little camera set up with scanning so this is just for me for for scanning purposes for cards for values so that i know what needs to go into the patron pile and stuff like that so uh without further ado let's push these off to the side like so can we get those are those out of the way enough that i can still get to my card scanner let's hope so actually maybe i put them to the other side maybe that's a better plan Maybe that's a better plan. Because we have plenty of room over here to work with. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. And you guys can still see that, so you can see the spice that's coming. And then here's the 10 packs that we're going to do this week. So I'll just put that right there, and we'll just get cracking. I guess I turn it this way. Because we start, of course, with always the newest set that's available out of the packs we're opening this week first. Which, of course, this week is Iconic Masters. Um... Can you, can you wait until we get to, like, the point where we're opening up, like, the, you know, Urza's Saga stuff, and it's like, the newest pack out of this week is, you know, Mirage. 
And people are like, what? That's not new at all. Well, yeah, that's the point. So anyway, Iconic Masters, we've got, uh, I don't think there's any commons of note here. Oh, Sanguine Bond is a good one, though. Sanguine Bond will take. It's a nice little, uh, nice little, like, it's like a dollar uncommon or so, right? It shows up as a rare there from a previous set, um, Core 2014. It's actually not from 2014. We're talking about the Iconic Masters Uncommon. There you go. You can see it's $1.16, so it will go into the patron pile, which is pretty nice. We got a Windfall Indulgent Tormentor, another rare that was downgraded to Uncommon. So we've got two rare... We've, took, we've got two Uncommon rares in this pack. And then, ooh, Archangel of Thun. That's a nice hit. That's a nice little hit. I don't know what the price tag on that is these days. $14? Yes, please. Now, that's the uh, that's the... Uh, that's the core 2014. Again, another core 2014 card that got reprinted in Iconic. Um, and it's still, it's 1470. And then we got a foil elusive spell, sh spell fist, which I'm pretty sure is not going to be anything important. And of course, a bird token. Good old burb. Good old burb token. And here, we'll, we'll fix this too. This is elusive spell fist and it's actually foil. There. So now it's giving us the proper price of nine cents. Everyone feels better about it, right? I hope so. Okay, uh, Ixalan is next. Wait a minute. I guess so. Yes, because we opened up Rivals last week, right? Yes. Okay. Man, I'm, like, losing track. Because I, cause I, you know, like, I talk to everyone about this, and most of my viewers will know, is that I don't open all of this in a row. I don't, like, I... This is all sitting here waiting for me to film it the next week. So you guys have to wait a week for the video to come out. I'm waiting a week to open the packs as well. So like I'm filming this on Saturday, uh, the 22nd. Um, so it comes out on the Wednesday, right? And I don't open up the next packs until a week later. So I won't be opening up the next packs until the 29th. So I'm waiting a week just like you guys. It's just a different um, set. You know, like I get it a few days earlier than you because I'm the one that has to open it and edit it and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we've got Wanted Scoundrels. Ooh, Field of Ruin is a nice little uncommon as well, isn't it? Is it still seeing a price tag on it? $3. Wow. Wowza. Op Opatech Huntmaster or Otepec Huntmaster and Angrath's Marauders. I don't think we need to even scan that card to know that it's not really worth anything. But we'll scan it anyway because that's what we do here. Now that we have the technology to scan the cards, why wouldn't we scan the cards, right? I think that's that's safe to say. So we've got Hour of Dev next. We could get a uh, uh, invocation out of here, right? Is that what we're looking for? I don't believe there's any commons of note. Good old Manolith, but it's it's too bad it's not good anymore because they they printed it, but better in uh, what in Modern Horizons? Is that right? Or is it in or was it in War of the Spark? The Mana Geode? Yeah. I think it was War, right? Crypt of the Eternals. Farm to Market. Tor Torment of Scarabs is a fun card. This card's a lot of fun to play with. And our rare... Ooh, we got a Mythic. I don't think Torment of Scarabs is anything. Yeah, it's not. 20 cents. But Razaketh, the Foul-Blooded. Now that's a cool card. No foil, unfortunately. So that means also no uh, invocation. But Razaketh is $11, so <laughs> we're doing pretty good this week. Adding some pretty spicy stuff to the patron pile, that's for sure. So thank you, Mo. you picked right. Or I guess it wasn't you that picked, right? It was the lovely ladies I had with me. I had my, my wife and one of our friends with us when I went to Mo's, and they, I made them pick all the packs because my luck is terrible. <laughs> Amon Ket is next. My luck is just atrocious, so I never... Whenever any LGS is like, hey, do you want to pick your packs? I go, no. You just should pick them for me because my... I'd rather use up maybe what little luck you might rub off on me than use my own luck because my luck is terrible. Battlefield Scavenger. Protection of the Hecma. On Crap Champion. And Prowling Serpopod. Or Su Serpopard. Ooh, that's a dollar still? Wow. Cat snake. I guess cats is uh, relevant again now too, isn't it? There's like a bunch of cats that have come out and all the shapeshifters and stuff. So cats is like, cat tribal is more relevant than ever. I mean, I know it was already a thing in Commander and stuff, but like, hmm, there's options now. Modern Masters 2017. Let's see what we find. Again, another uh, another set that has some pretty good cards in it. Um, Soul Warden, I don't think. Might be close. What's Soul Warden sitting at? 
No, okay, 46 cents. Nothing super exciting there. Simic Signet, which I don't think... Is it over a dollar? No. Uh, the Azorius Signet is, but the Simic Signet, not so much. Goblin Assault. Ooh, punched the microphone there with my hand. Vital Splicer. And... Ooh, a damnation. We'll take it. And a foil stony silence? Oh, snap. $30 for damnation and stony silence. Let's make sure that it gets foiled. $7 non-foil. What's the foil going for? $15? Wow. Well, we're adding some sweet stuff to the patron pile. That's for sure. So the rule is with the patron pile is that um, anything over $40 um, goes into the uh, the like the premium pile, um, like the, the grand prize pool. We've got Aether Revolt is next. Um, so there's like, um, the way I do it is that every patron each week walks away with one card from the patron pile. And the patron pile is a big stack of cards. If you haven't seen what I'm talking about, go watch the first like 20 minutes of my patron grab bag video and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's like a big pile of red cards, red sleeves, and they, it just has a whole bunch of the stuff we pull from these videos uh, in it. And each patron gets one card from it every month. Every month. It's random. But the last patron that I draw each month wins the grand prize and gets a card basically over $40, or like a playmat, or something, whatever they choose, basically. I mean, it's randomized, I have a bunch of different, like, things, because of course it's the same way with the cards and stuff, but... Cogwork Assembler. Gonti's Machinations. Felidar Guardian, remember when this was in there and then it got banned because th there was an infinite combo? I remember. Ooh, another Mythic, this time Planeswalker. Tezzeret. Now, a Tezzeret's not, like, super pricey or anything like that. Um, I think it's like, yeah, he's like a buck, a buck 45, but I mean, still a planeswalker. Planeswalker's a planeswalker, right? Sure is. He's no Tybalt. No, no, he's no original Tybalt. There's that, right? He's got that going for him. All right. Hey, <laughs> we've got Kaladesh next. Is original Tybalt more than a dollar 20, uh, more than a dollar 40 now? I mean, I don't think he is, but maybe he is. Essence Extraction. Era of Innovation, Giraper Guide, and Architect of the Untamed. Well, I don't think that's anything of note, but we did get a foil, but it's not a masterpiece, unfortunately. But that's okay, we've hit some pretty good stuff. We got a foil, a foil though, so a foil die young, we'll take it. We'll take a foil die young. Uh, I can't believe we hit a foil stony silence, to be, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Oh, that's that. We want to change it to foil. Boom. There you go. 24 cents for that. My goodness. So what are we sitting at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 packs down. Conspiracy Take the Crown is next. The only stipulation I have with Conspiracy Take the Crown is that if I open a Leovold, I get to keep it because I don't have one yet. I've opened up so much Conspiracy Take the Crown that I... I, I once I open a Leovold, I need it to put it into my binder so that it, the binder is complete. It's the only card that's missing, and I refuse to pay the price tag for it since it's not a legal card in Commander. Um, so, you know. Um, I don't think there's any commons. Is there a common? Is there any commons in uh, Conspiracy Take the Crown that I need to be worried about? I don't think there are. If you see one in the video and know, and I just have blown by it, let me know. Custody Soul Caller. We'll scan the uncommons, though, because I don't know very well. And I know a lot of them can be played, like, in Commander. Like, they can be very Commander playable. Juniper Order uh, Ranger. Dread Century. I know that this is a reprint, so I know that this is not... Oh, we got an Exotic Orchard. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the price tag on this one is, though, but that's pretty nice. And we got, of course, a rare a rare conspiracy card. So there you go. It's like a $2 uh, rare. Now, that says that it's from Conflux, but that's incorrect. It's not from Conflux. It's from Conspiracy Take the Crown. What does that do to it? Makes it $2. All right. And we got a weight advantage, which I don't like to give away the conspiracy cards to my patrons and stuff, um, even if they're over a dollar, just because, like... They're not really useful, and again, like, this one's only nine cents, so I'm not going to be giving it away to my patrons. All right, Eldritch Moon is next. All right, 
this is where you can get like double rares or flips. So you got to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight commons. That means we either have an additional rare or a foil, right? Uh, Rise from the Grave, good card. Got reprinted in the core set, I believe. Uh, Drog Skull Shieldmate, Dusk Feaster. None of these are, you know, of note, I don't think. And we got Emrakul's Evangel, which is like, it's an, it's a cool named card, but it's not anything super pricey. Yeah, 13 cents. Nothing super exciting there. We got a Conduit of Storms as our flip card, which turns into something, but, but there's a card behind it, so we should check that first, too. Is it a flip? Or oh, is it a Westvale Abbey? No, it's Hanawir Battlements. Well, then, it turns into Conduit of Emrakul. And we got a Hanweir Battlements, which is, like, not super exciting. Um, 77 cents, yeah, so nothing super exciting there. Eldrazi Horror Token. Could have been, could have been. What could have been? And it turns into the Hanweir of Writhing Township. Or H Hanweir, the Writhing Township, I should say. And uh, so those are the flip cards where it's like you need two of these to flip them into a bigger card. And it makes, you need to have both pieces to make the bigger piece. But it's really cool to see it on the battlefield, let me tell you. I remember when the set came out and I was playing and someone had the, uh, the, the rats and the black midnight scavenger or whatever it was. And had them pair up to make the bigger thing. And he got to like flip them both over and like stick them together. And then they had this huge card in the middle of the table. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Eternal Masters is next. Um, definitely some good uh, commons in here. I don't remember. I know Counterspell is at least close. It might be under a dollar now. Oh, it's over a dollar. Look at that. Counterspell's over a dollar now. And that's the Masters 25 version, but whatever. Harmonize used to be um, over. I don't think it is anymore. We can check it. Yeah, it's close. 84 cents. 84 cents close, but it's not over, so we're not going to put it in the patron pile. Young Pyromancer is over, so we'll put that in there. Nice. War Priest of Thun and Control Magic. Eh? Oh, Foil Fog. Who doesn't like fog, right? 61 cents for the rare. But I mean, like that uh, Masters 2017 pack definitely makes up for that uh, for that uh, Eternal Masters pack, that's for sure. So, like, let's see. This fog was, was from Eternal Masters, and it was foil... There you go. Boom. 34 cents. Okay, and last for this week, Shadow's over in this strad. Let's see what we find. Let us see what we find. And then, again, this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So no additional flip or foil card for us. Um, open the Armory. Tooth Collector. And generally what that means then is that your rare is not a flip rare. Because if you had a flip rare, it would be in the additional, rare, or the additional flip spot. Um, so... That means that our rare is just a rare, and it's not a flip. So we got Ghoulsteed, and we got Eerie Interlude, which is, like, not super exciting either. Um, wow. Is it at $3? Has this gone up in price? The last time I remember checking this card, it was, it was like, 60 cents. I feel like it's... Yeah, it's gone up. It's $3. So there you go. So we'll add that to the patron pile. All right. This is why we scan the cards, folks. Because I don't remember... I miss on things plenty of times. I mean, we this is a pretty good week for us. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Mo, for uh, allowing me to uh, visit your shop and find all of these sweet packs. I know, I mean, like, I know that you didn't really prevent me from doing so, but I appreciate that you did it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. This has been one of Everything Wednesdays uh, from Mo's Magic, located in Aaron. Link below in the description for his store and all that stuff. Thanks for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.